Ey Shalom ve Shalom ve Nistar of Souls will give no praise to Yahweh, Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shah, Ba'a Shem Mokar Kodash, the Belongness, the Apostle of Great Mosan, and Honesty Brothers doing the work of the Mosan Truth and the Insincerity. Yahweh, the real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, the Son's true name is Yahweh Shah, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shah, Ba'a meaning in, Ham, the, and Sham meaning names, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah. So just a quick one, um, it's not, uh, you know, the real riches, which is this truth, right? This truth, uh, you know, you got all of this, you know, the carnal things in this world, whatever have you. But look, this is where, you know, uh, th this is where, where, you know, where the real riches are. Let me grab this real quick, right? So jo uh, Jeremiah 9 and uh, 23, right? It says, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Well, it's basically the things of this world, right? Let those that have the things of this world, let them not glory in this, right? But then goes on to say, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which exercise, which exercise love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, say if Yahweh. So this is going into the fact that this is actually where um this is actually what we should you know, where 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 glory is to be, where you know what is actually worth glorying in. So like let me let me let me say that properly, right? Why? Because the only thing that has actually that actually has any intrinsic value and any intrinsic worth in this uh you know in this realm is this truth, right? This is um let me grab this as well. So second Peter three and ten is it? Of uh, verse eleven, right? So seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, right? So all all of the things that are in the earth, all the works that are in the earth, right? In fact, let me let me actually do read ten, read into it. Right, it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So no one knows exactly when you know the Lord Yahweh is gonna you know is gonna come back, crack them crack them clouds with his chariots. Right, we don't know uh, the intricacies of that. It says that in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, right, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, so this is talking about them ICBM nuclear missiles, the hypersonic uh, nuclear missiles, right. Which are going to burn up um, everything in that path, right? It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So, the wisdom of this world, the the cars and the the houses and the, uh, the whatever it is that we may have in this world, that's all going to get burned up. That's all going to get burned up. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be? Uh, in all holy conversation and godliness, right? Uh, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the, of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So knowing that all of all of the things in this world are going to be dissolved, all of the uh, things that Esau makes it seem like are worth something, guess what? It's all going to be dissolved. So therefore, how how are we meant to carry ourselves? So um even then I was just thinking as I was reading that right what does scripture say um uh, even real riches right because even in in the you know very definition of it in this world we have no riches right no one in this world uh, has 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 riches I mean yeah, you you elites but the the average Joe has 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 nothing when we actually can. can Compare that to what the scriptures say is actual riches. This is Genesis 13 and 2, where it says, And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold, right? Not in Federal Reserve notes, not in Bank of England notes, not in Bitcoin or this, that, and the other. Real rich riches, right? Uh, it's, you know, it goes back to cattle, silver, and gold, right? So, uh, would you call it if you got. Of a couple of coins of silver, really, you're doing better than someone who's only got, say, Bitcoin or only got FRNs. Because guess what? All of that is gonna is gonna be crashed, right now. Uh, the silver and the gold that's not gonna save us. We understand this, right? Which is why once again we go back to this thing about the real riches, right? Goes back to the scriptures, the knowledge, understanding, and fear 
of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So let's uh, get into this. Is uh, Proverbs eight and eleven, right? So for wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Okay, so the you know this wisdom is better than all things, in this uh. Because, for instance, knowing the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, what does it say in Acts four and twelve? It says um. Uh, it says, uh, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Right. So what this is saying here is, without knowing, the, you know, the names of Yahweh, right, you know, which is the name of the Father, and Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the Son, right? Forget about it. Right. There's no way, no way, no uh, means of salvation. So when this nuclear war comes when you know th these famines and th th all of these things when they're coming guess what if you don't have this wisdom right if you don't believe in Yahabashim Yahushai if you haven't got the fear of Yahabashim Yahushai if you don't have faith in Yahabashim Yahushai right then it, hey it's peak for you right so it says uh, Proverbs 8 11 again so for wisdom is better than rubies and all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it Okay, so you may desire a woman. Guess what? Wisdom is is better than that. You may desire a house. Guess what? Wisdom is is, is better than that. Okay, rather not even better than that. Just it can't even be compared to that. The truth cannot be compared to anything. Vocab tried to say one time, "Oh, you lot move like you've uh, won the lottery." Yes, we have. We have won the lottery. All right through the grace and mercy of Yah, Hashem Yah Shai. Right, this is our Revelation 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So this is written in red. right? And once again, how, what is this rich? What are these riches? Is it this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Yeah, in, 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 um, uh, in the carnal sense, we are poor. Right? We are poor. When you see how Edomites live, when you see how Edomites think and do, right? You read uh, Psalm 73, is it? And 5? It says that, you know, he is not in trouble as other men. These Edomites live good, right? So on a carnal level, we are poor. But guess what? And we are rich because we have this truth, right? So you just finish it off. It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, right? Which, you know, this, that's referring to the small hats. It says wisdom a the point that I want it's a little further down but I'll read into it it's from the top it says wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily and sweetly doth she order all things I loved her and sought her out of my youth I desired to make her my spouse and I was a lover of her beauty so basically um what is being written here is a uh, poetically being in love with wisdom. Right, just like how you love a woman, you think about her all the time before you go to bed in the morning. Right, that's 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 what this truth is supposed to be. Because at the end of the day, what is it referred to as Sophia? Right, wisdom. Okay. He says, "I desire to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty, in that she is conversant with the Most High. She magnified her nobility. Yea, the Lord of all things Himself loved her, for she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of the Most High and the lover of His works." If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? All right. So once again, what's better than than a, 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 a wisdom? Nothing. Right. Nothing is better than wisdom. All right. This is uh, Romans eleven and thirty three. All the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. Right. So, hey, you know, Lord's will, you know, the point has been made, you know, Lord's will that was edifying, um, you know, until the next time we say Shalom.